So far, we have discussed different methods of factorization of algebraic expressions. We discussed factorization by the method of common factors. Then we discussed factorization by the method of regrouping. And then we discussed factorization using identities. The video links of the tutorials are given in the description box below. Now we want to discuss one more identity that is factorization by using identity and the identity is x plus a multiplied by x plus b is equal to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b. For example, if you take this algebraic expression and if you try to factorize it using one of these three identities, then you can't do this. Even if you take this one a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b is equal to a plus b whole squared, you cannot use it because it's x squared. But is there any number that is a squared is equal to 6? Can you find a? No, there is no such natural number. So in that case, you have to use this one. Okay. And how will we do this? Let's say that your algebraic expression in general, we are talking in general, if it is a x squared, sorry, if it is x squared plus b x plus c, and you cannot use any of these three identities. And if you have to de be dependent on this one, then what you have to do is let's take two numbers P and Q such that P plus Q is equal to B and P multiplied by Q is equal to C. If we relate this general expression of a quadratic algebraic expression with this one, then here it's X squared. What's B here? B is 5, right? This is B. What's C here? C is 6. So basically you have to find two numbers such that P plus Q is equal to 5 and PQ is equal to 6. Okay. What if we take P is equal to 3 and Q is equal to 2? Then in that case 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. So we have that two numbers. Now you can take P is equal to 2 and Q is equal to 3. doesn't matter. The thing is the two numbers are 3 and 2. So by using this explanation that we have discussed here, you can solve this problem and it is X squared plus 3 plus 2X plus 3 multiplied by 2 right can you see here 3 plus 2 is what 5x 3 multiplied by 2 is what 6 so it's of the form now x squared a plus bx plus a multiplied by b right if you take this one as a this one as b then this is a multiplied by b so you can relate this one to this identity therefore this has to be equal to x plus what's a here a is our 3 in this case multiplied by x plus what's b here b is 2 in this case so this is the factorization x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 is the factorization of this particular problem that is x squared plus 5x plus 6 algebraic expression now let's take this expression y squared minus 7y plus 12. Okay, you cannot use any of these three identities here. If you try this one, that is a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, you cannot use it. In that case, you have to rely on this one. Okay, how to do this? Well, you know that we want to write in this form, that is y squared minus, or let's say this is, should be plus, a plus b y plus a b we want to write in this form okay how to do this as we discussed here in this problem that our these two numbers that is a plus b should be equal to in this case it's minus 7 and this a b should be equal to 12 Right? Again, don't get confused by these variables. You can take PQ, you can take RS, you can take TU. The thing is that you should use variables to relate to this identity. Okay, so A plus B should be equal to minus 7, AB should be equal to 12. If we take A as minus 4, 
and b as minus 3 and in that case a plus b, b, b becomes minus 4 plus minus 3 that is minus 4 minus 3 that is equal to minus 7 and a multiplied by b becomes minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 that is equal to 12 right so in that case here you write y squared plus what's a here a is minus 4 then plus what's b here b is minus 3 okay y plus minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 okay this is y squared plus minus 4 minus 3 y plus minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 now if you look at this expression and if we try to relate to it, this uh, the right hand side of this identity then it's actually equal to this one the x squared plus a plus bx plus ab the only thing is here a is minus 4 b is minus 3 a is minus 4 b is minus 3 so we can write it as x plus a so a is minus 4 in this case multiplied by x plus b b is minus 3 in this case so this becomes x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 3 this is the required factorization of this expression y squared minus 7y plus 12 factorize z squared minus 4z minus 12 okay first look can you use any of these three identities no you cannot use try and you will find that you cannot use any of these three identities what about this one can we use this one let's try so basically we want to write it in the in the form z squared plus a plus b z plus a multiplied by b you want to write it in this form so that you can relate to this one okay what's sorry we want a b as, such that a plus b is equal to minus 4 and a b should be equal to minus 12 never ignore the negative sign that's important so what those two numbers can be well take a is equal to minus 6 b is equal to as equal to uh, 2 so in that case a plus b becomes minus 6 plus 2 that is equal to minus 4 and a b becomes minus 6 multiplied by 2 that is equal to minus 12 right hence our problem is solved so right here z squared plus right what's a here we have taken a as minus 6 so write minus 6 then plus what's b here b we have taken as 2 then z plus what's a here a we have taken as minus 6 and b we have taken as 2 right now if you relate this expression to the right hand side of this identity then you can clearly see that our a is minus 6 our b is 2 so minus 6 plus 2 that is a plus b our a is minus 6 our b is 2 that is a multiplied by b that's why when you write this uh, expression as to equal to this one this is x plus what's a a is minus 6 multiplied by x plus what's b b is 2 so this becomes x minus 6 multiplied by x plus 2 right so this is a factorization of this algebraic expression this is the last one here we have 3m squared plus 9m plus 6 so the first thing that might come to your mind would be this a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab but if you uh, try to factorize it using this identity then you will not succeed then let's try this one so what do we want we want it to be written in this form right if you look at this expression properly then you can use here factorization using common factors first you have to use this concept the common factors concept how this is 3m squared 
so 3m squared plus this is 9m so 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by m this is 6 so 2 multiplied by 3 now this expression it has been written is, is having three terms this is first term this is second term this is third term three here three here and three here the three fa the factor three is common take this factor outside so this becomes m squared plus 3m plus 2 okay so 3 multiplied by m squared plus 3m plus 2 now now you can use this identity because here it was 3m squared plus 9m plus 6 so it's basically of the form ax squared plus bx plus c so you cannot relate easily to this identity had if you had not taken this 3 outside now you can relate to this one now it's of the form x squared plus bx plus c of the form okay now we want this m squared plus 3m plus 2 to be written in the form m squared plus a plus b m plus a b so if we want a and b such that a plus b is equal to is equal to 3 and we want a b should be equal to 2 let's take a as 2 b as 1 in that case a plus b will be 2 plus 1 3 and a b will be equal to 2 so this is m squared plus now this 3 is already there this 3 is already there this a plus b is what 2 plus 1 m plus 2 multiplied by 1 now you can relate to this one therefore this becomes here it's x plus a and multiplied by x plus b so basically it's m plus because our x in that in this case variable is m not x so m plus a is what 2 multiplied by m plus b is what 1 so 3 multiplied by m plus 2 multiplied by m plus 1 this is the factorization of this algebraic expression 3m squared plus 9m plus 6 just want to check have i make have i made any mistake here yeah here it should be not x it should be z because our variable is z not x i'm sorry for this this has to be z because our variable is z we just want to relate to this uh, identity what about this case again i have made a mistake i'm extremely sorry for this extremely sorry here it should be y y y and y and yeah it's it's fine because we have x here only okay so we have to keep variables in our mind we should not use wrong variable the thing is that we just have to relate to this identity our variables will not change okay so this was all about factorization using this identity 4 and we'll discuss more in our next video tutorial.